So in this example, we're going to go through and find the length of the diagonal of each cylinder. In the first example, I'm going to go through and draw my diagonal on here. I'm going to go from one corner to the opposite corner. I'm going to also draw my diagonal on this one as well. Okay. So if I'm finding the length of this diagonal on my first example, I see how I have a right triangle right here. The side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse of C. That's the diagonal of the cylinder. So I could actually use the Pythagorean theorem to find my missing side. So I'm going to label my sides with A, B, and C. Write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. For my legs, I'm going to label 16 as A. That's the diameter of the cylinder. My other leg is the height of the cylinder. I'm going to label that B. So now I'm ready to substitute my numbers in. I have 16 squared plus 21 squared equals C squared. So now I'm going to evaluate my exponents. 16 times 16 and 21 times 21. I get the following. 256 plus 441 equals C squared. Now I'm going to add together those two values. 256 plus 441. I get 697 equals C squared. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 697 and the square root of C squared. And when I take the square root of C squared, I just get C. And the square root of 697, I get approximately 26.4. So the length of that diagonal would be 26.4 centimeters. So now let's move on to the other example. First of all, notice how it's different. This example gives you the radius. This example, I had the diameter. So here I was given the diameter. Here, I'm given the radius. So at the beginning of the second problem, I have to take the radius, which is eight, and I have to multiply it by 2, so I have the diameter. The diameter ends up being 16. I'm going to label that on the diagram. So the diameter ends up being 16. Okay, so from here I'm ready to use my Pythagorean theorem. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I have to label my A, B, and C on my diagram. C is the side across from the right angle, which is your diagonal. The C, the hypotenuse. My other two sides are my legs. I'm going to call A 16 and B 15. From here, I'm going to substitute those numbers in to the Pythagorean theorem formula. So I have 16 squared plus 15 squared equals c squared. I'm going to evaluate 16 squared, 16 times 16, and 15 squared, 15 times 15. And I get 256 plus 225. Just bring down your c squared. From here, add those two numbers together. I get 481. From here, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, square root of 481 and the square root of c squared. When I do that, the square root of c squared is c, and the square root of 481 is 21.9. So the length of the diagonal in this cylinder is 21.9 centimeters. So again, just to point out side by side, if you're given the diameter of the cylinder and the height, you could go through and just substitute those numbers into the Pythagorean theorem formula. If you're given the radius and the height, you have to first take that radius, like we did up here, and multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter. Once you have the diameter and the height, you could go through and substitute into the Pythagorean theorem formula. And that wraps up this example.